Well, hello guys. Welcome back to another Switch 301 video. And today, we're back at X-Plane. Now, today I'm gonna do something quite special. That is actually stress testing some aircraft. Isn't that a totally good idea? Probably not. All right, so we are at Area 51. We haven't been here for a while. The alien tower is still here, intact, and ready to communicate with aliens. And as you can see, we are already inside of an aircraft and flying happily. On, and we have this, <laughs> and we have this huge mesh cutout. Disgusting. Yeah, I should probably install some decent scenery, but that's another story. Now today we have this kind of special airplane. Oh my goodness. So this buddy is controlling our throttle, and I'm really not comfortable with those people controlling this aircraft. L look at- oh my god. How did the developers manage to fail that hard? Oh my goodness. Oh no, there's another person in the cabin. So this plane is actually a, a seaplane. Oh. Which is why it has that really thick wing and the bigger the wing i mean the thicker the wing the more wing flex we can get out of it and the less stable it is as well so if we go ahead and change this aircraft's pitch slightly we can already see some minor wing flex actually especially if we go like 737 max mode we can see some huge wing flex there yeah, this is almost turning into a bird at this point. So, that, so those wings are probably very stable, but they're gonna give up at some point. Oh. Oh. As you can see, both wings just fell off. Well, that's kind of a sad ending. This aircraft is not that stable. I can imagine that it's very hard to fly in storm with this. So let's actually do that. Get some more storminess, some more precipitation, and some more turbulence, obviously, to get some more wing flex. Let's go ahead and challenge this aircraft. Let's go ahead and do a full power takeoff. We have some huge wing flex. You can see, just guys, uh... Oh my god, I'm absolutely sorry about this. Yeah, I don't want to be in this cabin. And as you can see, one wing actually fell off. Yeah, it's just spiraling down to death. This is not a very stable aircraft, and you should not be flying in huge turbulences with this. Now let's try another- eh! Now let's try another airplane. You know what I was wanting to try for quite some time was a glider. So a glider has quite a thick wing, especially compared to its fuselage size. Probably makes sense because it has to operate without engines. And we are in the air, but as we have no winds, we're gonna quickly die. Let's cheat us into the air. Probably not to space like that. Let's go, yeah, let's go for 15,000 feet. Let's see how many G forces we can force, slash how much wing flex can we force. So I can imagine that those wings are actually pretty stable because gliders stable. Okay, we might have just crashed, uh, yeah. We were forcing a lot. This one has a even thicker wing. Okay, so let's find out how much wing flex we can force out of this. And we're pretty high in the air. Okay, so let's get down. Yeah, this is getting me really uncomfortable. And this was already enough for this thick wing to fall apart. And there you go. That's, that's a very sad death. So obviously, like a Cessna Skyhawk or a Cyrus Vision would be boring because... Well, the wings are not thick enough to fall apart properly. But what I was gonna try was uh, a Concorde. <laughs> no, just kidding. This won't have any wing flex. Let's try a Boeing 747. Okay, we're going full power as you could just hear by the throttle. You can see the wings are already flexing quite a bit. We can't measure the wing flex. You could measure its stability, I guess. How much weight it can take. Yeah, this is kind of a weird flying mode. We don't appear to be crashing, even. And we're dying again. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Let's see what happened. So I was pulling up completely to make a loop. And, uh, yeah, let's try the 737 this time. Okay, so let's see how far we can stretch the engines. Probably these won't be as solid to a very... Oh. Yeah, and this thing is just falling out of the skies without wings at this point. Let's try the thickest plane of the thickest. Alright, so here we are in the Antonov. Well, we haven't been flying you for quite some time. I can't imagine that this wing is also pretty strong. That was almost a tail strike. 
Nope, we don't see any wing flex at all. So let's see if we can force some wing flex by putting storm in area 51. Right, so here we are in a thick storm in a thick plane. We still don't see any wing flex, but it's like very minimal. Uh, the plane suddenly fell apart? Full power as always. And we're actually going now. We have some thick wing flex. So actually around two years ago, I uploaded my first ever video on this channel. I was flying in a Hurricane Irma, but you know, those were just the good times and the plane just separated again. That's very sad. I mean, we were flying. So, so the cool thing is that you can now actually start to remove wings from aircraft and you see visual effects of it. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.